Yes. Uh, Good question. High modulus fibers. Uh, they are often mentioned uh, with the intention of uh, telling people that it's a high-end product because high modulus sounds a bit like high-end, I guess, or, or something. Uh, but really, uh, so uh, as in our frame, we actually we don't have any high modulus fibers at all. Uh, and we don't want to have them there because, uh, in our opinion, uh, for most purposes and, and almost all purposes, high modulus fibers are worse for making a bike. Uh, because what people usually don't know is that uh, high modulus fibers, they are, simply, they are simply stiffer than other regular or intermediate modulus fibers. Uh, but they aren't stronger, they are just more crispy they are actually less strong uh, in most cases. Uh, so what you end up uh, with, if you, let's say if you made an entire bike out of high modulus carbon fiber. Uh, yes, uh, you could get by with less material to make uh, the same frame uh, in a given stiffness. Uh, but if you want to make it in, in a given strength, you'd actually need the same amount, roughly, give or take, as you would with standard modulus fibers. Uh, but then again, uh, how come high-end frames that use high modulus, how come uh, they are slightly lighter sometimes than other frames? Well, this can be uh, the result of high modulus fibers being used uh, to sort of lock certain areas from movement, uh, from flex, certain areas in the bike frame. Uh, let's say around the bottom bracket area. Uh, if you throw in a, a mix of, of high modulus fibers there, you're not adding strength at all. Uh, you're making it less strong. Uh, but you are locking down the movement there because those fibers are so stiff. Uh, and this helps uh, getting that sad frame uh, through fatigue testing. Uh, so, uh, it's maybe not exactly correct, but, but in, in, in some ways you are yeah, cheating your way through testing because the frame comes off as stronger. Uh, what it actually isn't stronger, it just resists flex a little bit more. Hence, you get less like paint cracks in the parts under fatigue testing. Uh, so, what about mixing those fibers together, high modulus and standard modulus, uh, to get sort of like best of both worlds, get the impact resistance from the standard modulus and get the stiffness from uh, the high modulus, uh, like some makers are claiming. Uh, I'm skeptical towards that in general. Uh, reason being, uh, okay, let's look at it this way. If you, if you have two strings, so one string, uh, a cotton string between those, those fingers here. Uh, and then between those two fingers here, uh, you have uh, a rubber band. Uh, the rubber band uh, uh, stands for the standard modulus fiber, while the cotton string stands for the high modulus fiber. So if you would pull these strings apart here, it's obvious that the rubber band wouldn't get stressed at all. It would just, it would just stretch easily, while the cotton string you would put all the load on that, and then it snaps, and then you pull further, and then you snap the rubber band. So, so this is what happens when you mix standard modulus with high modulus, or, or can happen if you don't do it correctly. <laughs>